Lizzie Dignan makes history by winning first women's Paris Roubaix Britain's Lizzie Dignan rode to a landmark victory in the inaugural Paris Roubaix Femmes as rain, mud, and crashes made it a memorable debut for the world's best female riders over the infamous cobbled course on Saturday. The former world champion produced a dominant ride over the 115.6 km course and held off a powerful late surge by Dutch great Marianne Vos to win by 1 minute and 17 seconds. I feel incredibly proud, Dignan, who adds the maiden Paris Roubaix to her other notable triumphs including last year's Liege Bastogne Liege, said. Women's cycling is at this turning point, and today is part of history. It proves the appetite for women's cycling and that the riders can do one of the hardest races in the world. Today I was the third rider and I had to be in the front at the first cobbled section to protect my leaders. But then I saw there was a gap so I just kept going. After three circuits around Denine, Trek Segafredo rider Dignan established a small lead over the pack just before the first of 17 cobbled sections with more than 80 kilometers remaining. With riders struggling to organize a concerted chase, many of them slithering over on the greasy cobbles, former world champion Dignan powered into a commanding lead dot with 30 kilometers remaining the Trek Segafredo a rider held a lead of 2 minutes 30 seconds over a group including Voss teammate Audrey Corden Raggett and Germany's Lisa Brennauer. Dignan, handling the bone-shaking paint, cobblestones with aplomb, maintained her advantage as several fancied riders including European champion Ellen Van Dijk crashed heavily. Voss finally put the hammer down to try and catch Dignan, slicing into the lead as she powered through the Carrefour de l'Arbre cobbled section. Voss closed the gap to 118 as Dignan began the final 10 kilometers, but Dignan proved unshakable out front as the famed Roubaix Velodrome finish approached. Dignan was so far ahead that the finale inside the Roubaix Velodrome resembled a lap of honor as the Yorkshire rider wrote her name into the cycling history books. Voss finished more than a minute behind, with Dignan's teammate Elisa Longo Borghini in third place. Organizers ASO who also own the Tour de France, added a women's version of the 125-year-old Paris Roubaix last year, but the COVID-19 pandemic meant they had to wait another year to ride the so-called Hell of the North. The debut for the Paris Roubaix Fens race and for a women's Tour de France next year are seen as steps forward in the long battle for gender equality in professional cycling. Although there remains a long way to go. While Sunday's men's race over a longer distance boasts a total prize pot of 91,000 euros, the women's race has only 7505 euros, with Dignan receiving 1535 euros, about 1 20th of what the winner of the men's race will take home. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.